Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Now, while we often feature pretty cool stuff with like huge full tower cases and like liquid cooling and lots of different cores going on in the computer, not everyone needs that. Some people just want a small basic machine, whether it's for, you know, like a kitchen PC or whether it's just for a basic browser. And for them, something like this might be a pretty reasonable option. Today is going to be a showcase of two different mini PCs from Zotac. One of them is the AD04 and the other is the ID80 using the AMD APU platform for one of them and an Intel Atom platform with an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card for the other one. And we're going to take a look at which of these is a better option of the two as well as some usage scenarios for these little miniature PCs. <laughs> Now both of these configurations can be purchased either as a bare bones or as a pre-configured machine. So if it's a pre-configured machine, it comes with RAM and a hard drive already installed. Although what I'd really recommend is grab the bare bones because they're quite quiet to start with. You throw four gigs of RAM in it, you throw an SSD in there, and you actually have a very satisfactory computing experience for light usage, whether it's web browsing, looking up recipes. Speaking of which, what would you use them for? So they're quite commonly used as POS terminals that is point of sale, not the other you know, thing that POS can mean, uh, point of sale terminals because they come with a VESA mount. So this VESA mount can go on the back of any, pretty much any monitor or TV that is VESA compliant. And what that means is you have a very low profile computer, you know, for an environment where you've got like a scanning station or something like that, these kinds of things can be very convenient. So yeah, low profile, easily hidden, you just throw it on the back of something and you don't think about it anymore. I've even seen people use these little Zotac units for digital signage because they have fairly beefy heat sinks inside them, good cooling fans, and they're using reasonably good quality hardware. Yes, it's not industrial equipment. This is a consumer piece of equipment, but as long as it's well built, you shouldn't run into any issues. So that's cool as well because they do have HDMI output, which is pretty much all you need for digital signage, power HDMI output and networking. So they come with both gigabit wired network and wireless networking. Another potential use, and we showed this on a previous episode of NCIX Tech Tips, is as a media PC. So you throw XBMC on there or even Windows and it comes with a media center compatible remote. Even if you're not gonna use it, this remote can be kind of handy. And there you go, it's good for that too. I think that pretty much covers it. Oh yeah, let's look at the rest of the things they come with. So they come with an infrared receiver for the remote. Uh, the Intel one comes with an HDMI to DVI adapter, although the AMD based one has native DVI out. And they also come with a little stand, so you don't have to prop them up on one of these little display stands that we use, and you don't have to bolt them to the back of something. You just throw them on the little stand like this. In fact, I can do it right here on camera. It's so easy to do that even your mom could do it. As long as your mom is sort of more clever than me. Here we go, hold on, let's see if I can do this. Yes, clip it in like that, and it is far less at risk of tipping over. Also, finally, it comes with a manual as well as a driver disc. Don't use this. Download the latest off of the Zotac website. Now I want to take a closer look at the key differences between these units because you can see they do have a lot in common. So one of the things is <clears throat> when you turn them on, you can actually see they use different colored lights. They are conveniently color coded. The blue one is the Intel configuration and the green one is the AMD configuration. They also have fairly different specs. So this Intel machine is using a D2700 processor that is a dual core at 2.13 gigahertz, as well as because Nvidia's onboard graphics are just not up to par compared to AMD's onboard graphics, it also uses an Nvidia GPU. So it's got a GT520M that is is a DirectX 11 GPU and it actually performs reasonably well as you guys are going to see. Now in terms of IO, they both have very similar IO on the front, that is your power, your indicator LEDs for the drive as well as the wireless, one USB 2, a card reader as well as microphone and headphone out. On the top of the unit there's also a USB 2 port and a ventilation hole so that's going to allow you to keep everything inside nice and cool and on the bottom all you see is more vents and the mount for that little stand that I was showing you before. Now the backs are where they start to differ. So here I'm just going to probably do an overlay of this because this is really awkward what I'm doing right now but uh, yes on the backs you find two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, optical audio out, gigabit ethernet and two USB 2.0 ports on both of them 
And finally, you find the difference, and that is DisplayPort out on the AMD model and DVI out on the Intel model. Now, Zotac was the one who provided these mini PCs for us to showcase for you today, so I don't think they actually care whether you go with an AMD or an Intel configuration, so we took it upon ourselves to determine which one is the better option if you're looking for one of these mini PCs. So the green one, as I mentioned before, is an AMD E450 with the included APU, so that means the GPU is built right in, whereas the Intel config uses the D2700 processor, so they're both dual cores, and then it uses a GeForce GPU to provide DirectX 11 graphics, so they're both DirectX 11, they both have dual cores, they both have 320 gig identical hard drives and 2 gigs of memory. So we decided to run a couple simple tests, PC Mark 7 and 3D Mark Vantage, to see which one comes out ahead when it comes to performance. And since I didn't see fit to uh, bother creating graphs in Excel, I figured we'd go ahead and create graphs on a whiteboard. So here we go, 3D Mark Vantage, entry level preset because these are very basic systems. The AD04, the AMD configuration, scores about 4,000 3D Marks, and the ID80 scores about 7,600 3D Marks. So when it comes to DirectX 11 3D performance, the ID80 definitely comes out on top trying to hold that up so you can see it. Which isn't to say that 3D gaming performance is the be all and end all of the performance of a mini PC. So you can see we also ran PC Mark 7 on, I don't think that was on the entry preset, thanks a lot Luke, but uh, in PC Mark 7 they are significantly closer. The difference in performance is only about 10%. However, you can still see clearly with a 987 score for the AD04 and a 1053 score for the ID80 that the Intel does come out ahead. So all other things being equal, the ID80 Plus will be the better option. Now because both of these systems do cost a similar amount and the ID80 Plus also actually runs a little bit quieter, I would say that Intel and Nvidia do get the nod on this one. So thank you for checking out our showcase of these pretty cool Zotac Z-Box machines. Remember, the advantages of these are they're smaller than anything you can put together on your own, even Mini ITX, with their sort of more notebook-esque form factors. You saw we opened them up, they're very, very compact in there, but there's also the fact that you can open them up and easily upgrade them just like that. When you compare that to a competing product like the Sapphire Edge HD3, which is very difficult to open up and doesn't have as many I.O. options, these start to look pretty good. There's also finally the fact that they come in a variety of configurations so you can choose the one that suits your needs best. Although given that the ID80 outperformed the AD04 in pretty much every application in the PC Mark suite, I'd say that this one's the one to go for. Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. And don't forget to subscribe.